Hello, my beautiful buds. Welcome back to my channel, Sprouts with Joy. My name is Joy, and if you're new here, I like to talk about plant stuff, plant content, all that. So if you're into that, you should stick around. If you didn't see my previous video, or if you're like totally new here, like completely new here, I'm 31 weeks pregnant as of the time of filming this right now. So if I shift around a lot, it's because I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> So don't mind that. So during my filming hiatus, I definitely took a pause on purchasing more plants because I was already kind of overwhelmed with the number of plants that I had. But uh, there are some plants that I purchased before kind of going on hiatus that I never got to show you guys. And then more recently in the last couple of months, I've purchased a, a few more plants. So I kind of wanted to do a collective plant haul and just show you guys the plants that I've gotten that you haven't seen yet. Just introduce them to you and be like, hey, I've added them to my collection. Let's see how they do and, and follow their growing journeys. So I think I'm gonna try to go in chronological order if I can remember all the details of that. To start, I have this absolutely beautiful staghorn fern and i bought this i think way back in february or something like that fully intending to make a video on mounting this fern and that sort of thing which is why i never showed it to you guys but obviously that never happened <laughs> he's continued to be really happy for me and he's grown a lot since i've gotten him and i still intend to mount him in a future video at some point um, I have the materials, I just need to get around to doing it, but it's hard to find a minute to do that when you have a toddler and you're working and you're tired all the time. <laughs> so I will get there eventually. But so far, he seems pretty content where he's at, pretty content with um, being in his current pot, in his current situation. So I'm not in a huge rush or anything like that. And also I've never mounted a plant before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> So I want to do a little bit more research before I just dive into that one. So my staghorn fern. This is actually also a wishlist plant. So if you saw my old 2022 wishlist video, this ticks that off that list. Yeah. Here's another one that I got, I think pretty much right at the end of February when I first found out that I was pregnant. And it's this upright lemon lime philodendron or some people call it a golden goddess. I don't know for sure what the difference is or if there is a difference. So he, he used to be standing upright because he was staked up, but I decided to remove the stakes and just kind of have him hang down and chill. <laughs> he's currently living on my front porch right now outside while it's warm out and he's been absolutely loving it and thriving outside. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous to take him back inside but he just has new leaves coming out constantly. He's kind of a monster but yeah I got him while I was shopping with my best friend getting some plants for her home and when I saw him I was like I kind of want him. So I got him, but I just never got a chance to show you guys because I kind of stopped filming things shortly thereafter. So yeah, this guy. All right, the next plant that I got, I had a very, I had, I don't know, maybe three or four months where I didn't buy any plants because I was just suffering from morning sickness and stuff like that. So I was not in the mood, but I stopped by a nursery at some point during the summer at maybe around June, I think. And um, I was actually there to buy a tree to plant in our yard, but I, I poked into their nursery area, uh, you know, their indoor plant section, and I saw one lonely little Hoya. Like this was the only one of its kind. It was $12. So I thought to myself, you know, I really like this Hoya. So I want to give it a home. So I did. I just went ahead and bought him. And look at the silveriness of the leaves. He had no ID. So I wasn't 100% certain what he was when I got him. But for a while I was thinking, okay, I don't think it's a Croniana because I didn't expect a Croniana to be $12. Uh, so I assumed, okay, maybe it's a Lacunosa, Hoya Lacunosa. But I'm not all that experienced 
and and well versed in Hoya, and I know that there's always been kind of a is this a lacunosa or is this a croniana? Who knows? Like I don't know. But I recently reached out to my friends on Instagram, which my Instagram is just sprouts with joy, same as my YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, no pressure though. I just you know shameless plug. I I, I asked you guys on Instagram like, hey, what the heck is this plant? Does anyone have an ID on it? Because I kind of want to know for sure. I like to know for sure what my plants are. My suggestion was like, I, I think this is Lachinosa, but if you think it's something else, let me know. And um, I got overwhelming responses that no, this is in fact a Croniana, uh, a Hoya Croniana, like super silver or silver splash or something kind of along those lines, uh, which made me very happy because a Hoya Croniana um, silver was on my wish list. <laughs> And I got this because I, I thought it looked like it, but I was like, oh, it's too good to be true for me to just kind of stumble across it randomly. Like, there's no way. But I think that it very well might be. And honestly, I think that there is some debate in general as to whether or not um, Croniana's and Lachinosis are the same thing or different or whatever. But I don't know. Makes me happy, though. Okay, and then the next one after that there is another couple of months where I didn't purchase anything um, but at the beginning of August I was feeling a lot better and I went plant shopping and I, I decided I was like you know what I want to get some hanging baskets for my front porch but of course I also checked out the indoor plant section again and I saw this plant and I thought to myself wow this is meant to be <laughs> because it is a variegated hoya hindu rope and it was i think maybe twenty dollars if that like it was relatively cheap <laughs> so um if you didn't know this is also a wishlist plant um for a very long time and <laughs> i'm just like oh my gosh i have her so let's just take a second to admire her. She doesn't look like a whole lot yet, <laughs> um, but she's getting there and she's got several new little growth points coming in, which is super exciting. So yeah, I was just ecstatic to see this and it's sort of reinvigorated. Oh wow, like my wishlist plants are out there and they're becoming more accessible and that's pretty awesome. Um, I will say a couple days after I brought her home, she started struggling with a mealybug infestation. <laughs> So I'm wondering if it was something that she already kind of had in the nursery and I just was too excited to pay attention to that. Um, so we've been fighting that off and I think that that has kind of slowed her growth down a little bit, but I'd say she's still beautiful nonetheless and I'm still really happy that I got her. These next two plants I'm gonna talk about are also wishlist plants and I got them only like a week, maybe a week and a half ago. And I was actually on vacation in Wisconsin and I went to the Down to Earth uh, Garden Center in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, because I'd been there once before, the year before, because I go to Wisconsin pretty much most years to visit family for a vacation, that sort of thing. And oh my gosh, I freaking just, I love that garden center so much. They have a coffee shop and like a little clothing boutique attached to it. And they have, since last year, they expanded and added another greenhouse and my mind was just so blown walking around there and that's actually if you look at my instagram i took a couple of pictures there and that's kind of where i was like you know what i'm ready to tell the world that i'm pregnant um my friends knew before that obviously but um i was ready to let all of you guys know hey this is where i'm at and i'm kind of gonna try to break back into engaging with the community again so while i was there Oh my gosh, there were so many plants that I could have gotten. And my husband was fairly supportive and um, he had recently spent quite a bit of money on one of his hobbies. So he said, you know what, you know, you can get whatever you want. But I didn't want to go too, too crazy. So I just got two plants rather than, I could have splurged on like a Florida Beauty or a Monstera Alba or something like that because they had those too and they were freaking gorgeous. Uh, but I, I went with these two plants I, and I'm, I'm very happy about them. I have not repotted them or really done much with them yet. I'm just kind of letting them acclimate to the environment. Uh, but yeah, I'll just go ahead and show them to you right now. So this first one is um, a Syngonium erythrophyllum. <laughs> 
and he's just beautiful every bit as beautiful as I was hoping um, I think that he was around $20 $25 so not too terrible and he's got this beautiful long trailing tendril here and I haven't decided yet if I want to you know propagate this and then make it into a fuller pot or if I want to have them climbing or trailing I don't really know but I don't really care I just love these beautiful dark leaves and the red backs to the leaves um, and I could rave about this plant for a long time and I'm really happy to finally have one because this is this is my first time seeing one in person and the next is a long term uh, wishlist plant of mine a philodendron atabapoense or atabapoense uh, he was $99 so expensive but I feel like I've seen them for more expensive than that unless I mean I haven't really been super engaged in the market but it was worth it to me and he came with a moss pole already which is kind of nice and he's rooted into the moss pole as well which is pretty exciting but I just love look at those beautiful luscious supple leaves and again the red backs the leaves oh my gosh they're so cool um so yeah I'm excited to pot them up into a bigger pot because he's got some roots coming out the bottom i think he's pretty root bound um but i'm letting him just chill out for a minute and there's a new leaf right here and i'm just like ah, i'm overwhelmed with how beautiful this plant is so yeah philodendron adaba poensi or i can never decide how i want to pronounce it i don't know let me know if you definitively know what it is but ah <sighs> yes Hi there, okay, I wanted to interject for just a minute before I completely ended this video. Between the time that I filmed the video and that I started editing the video, I did get another plant. <laughs> um, it's, it's another wishlist plant actually, and it is the Epipremnum Panatum Albo Variegata. And it was about $26, maybe $28 after tax or something like that, and I am, quite excited. I'm definitely going to put this one up a pole or a plank or something like that to get those nice fenestrated leaves, but here is some of the variegation on it. There's quite a bit of green, which I think is good just for the sake of having a healthy plant, but there's definitely some variegation on it. And I love the shape of the leaves. I just think it's so pretty, but I happened to be in the vicinity of Urban Planting Cleveland, which doesn't happen all that often because it's in the city. So I went ahead and stopped in there and they had some Aglaonema chocolates that I was very tempted by, along with a few other really cool plants, but I opted to get this Epipremnum Panatum Albo Varagata. So I am quite excited about him. He's, mm. It'll be good, it'll be good. This will this will open up some opportunities for some plant projects in the future. I kinda wanna try out wooden poles as opposed to just flat planks because I think that I might prefer the look of that. So, but I need to like go to the store and find some and figure that out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna just let him acclimate to my environment and chill out for a bit before I do anything to bother him. But before he grows too much, I want to see if I can get him to attach to a pole or something like that, and then just start developing those really nice fenestrations. So yes, one last look at him. So freaking beautiful. I'm so happy. Ugh. Whew, I'm like getting out of breath just from talking so much, but thankfully, those are all the plants that I've gotten between like February and now, like the end, the very end of August. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.